Welcome to DIY Creations. Today, we are going to show you how to make a beautiful terrarium using waste materials, specifically a broken dish. This eco-friendly project is a fantastic way to recycle and create something unique for your home. Let's get started. First, gather your materials. You will need a broken dish such as a cracked ceramic plate, a chipped bowl, a shattered teacup, or even a broken teapot. Additionally, collect some small rocks or pebbles, pieces of broken pottery or brick, leftover soil, and small plants or moss. You can also use discarded items like broken jewelry, old twice or shell to add a personalized touch to your terrarium. Start by preparing your broken dish. If the dish is broken in a way that it can still hold soil, you are all set. If it has a large crack or hole, you can need to glue some pieces together or line the bottom with a piece of plastic or mesh to hold the materials. Begin with a drainage layer, add a handful of small rocks or pebbles to the bottom of your dish. This layer will help prevent water from accumulating and causing root rot. Next, add a layer of broken pottery, bricks, or even small pieces of recycled ceramics. This layer will act as a filtration system, keeping the soil from mixing with the drainage layer. Now it's time to add the soil. Use any leftover soil from previous gardening projects or soil from your garden. Spread it evenly over the filtration layer, making sure it's deep enough to support your plant's root. Next, choose your plants, small succulents, moss, or hardy ferns. Work well in terrarium. Arrange them in the soil, pressing gently to secure them in place. Be creative with the arrangement, perhaps placing taller plants at the back and shorter ones in the front for a layered look. Add some decorative elements to personalize your terrarium. This is where you can get really creative with waste materials. Use broken jewelry pieces to add a bit of sparkle, small twice for a whimsical touch or shells for a beach themed terrarium. Arrange these items around the plants to create a unique and personal scene. Finally, give your terrarium a light misting of water. Be careful not to overwater as terrariums are closed environments and do not have drainage holes. A gently spray is usually sufficient to keep the plants happy. This project not only adds a touch of greenery to your space, but also helps in recycling and reducing waste. I hope you enjoy making this terrarium. See you next time and don't forget to subscribe DIY Creations.